Now, your microclimate forecast, presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Carlene Chavis. It actually feels like fall is in the air. I know it's here officially now, yes. but it feels like it outside, too. It's nice. It's a yeah. little cooler, especially mm -hmm. for tonight. We have some temperatures that are running about 15 degrees cooler than yesterday. So That is a treat. It's a nice treat. And over the next couple of days, even cooler. So we'll have a bit of a switch up in our forecast. Today's highs were still on the warm side, but they were cooler than they were on Sunday. Over the next couple of days, temperatures will be dipping down, the area of low pressure moving in, even offering up a chance for a few showers and even some thunderstorms in the mountains. Let's go ahead and take a look at how much cooler we're talking for tonight. 13 degrees cooler for Mount Laguna, 10 for Palomar Mountain, the same for Alpine, also Poway, and three degrees of a difference, so a little bit of a minor difference for downtown, four for Chula Vista. So temperatures right now, we're at 64 degrees in Chula Vista, 60s right along the coast, 67 degrees for downtown, 56 degrees for Ramona, 58 degrees in Poway, 51 in Campo, also 50s and 60s for the mountains, and in the 70s in the desert. We have winds that have calmed down. We have winds picking up to about 17 miles per hour for Mount Laguna, 10 miles per hour for Julian, and under 10 as you go west of the mountains. So they were more speedy earlier today, and now we're starting to see a little bit of a trend downwards, but that won't last very long because we'll have winds start to pick up in the early morning hours, 18 miles per hour, double digits for the mountains, 18 for Pine Valley, and then also some gusts picking up into the 20s for Julian as well as Pine Valley Campo, and 13 miles per hour for Palomar Mountain. That's the reason for the elevated fire risk. So it will be in portions, isolated spots across the county because we will have those Santa Ana winds picking up. Also seeing some wind gusts into the teens as we go into about 1130 in the morning, still with the speedy winds into the afternoon hours, about 15 miles per hour at 730 for tomorrow night. So that is what we're dealing with for tomorrow. Then we're shifting gears as we go into the middle of the week. Area of low pressure will start to move in and as it sags further south, that wraparound moisture with that will also bring in a chance for a few showers and some thunderstorms. So setting the clock in motion, we're looking at the time frame of about Wednesday into Thursday. The blue is highlighting about a quarter of an inch of rainfall, but some of the green indications a little bit more than that quarter of an inch, even potentially up to a half an inch. Let's go ahead and take a look at your surf forecast. We will have a high risk of rip currents going into tomorrow. Southwest swell about two to four feet with those waves. So we're talking about the 70s sticking around and then also some lower 70s as we go into our forecast, even for the coast by Sunday, we'll be at 68 degrees. Inland valleys, you're going from 90s tomorrow all the way into the 80s and even potentially the 70s over the next couple of days. Offering a chance for showers and thunderstorms for the mountains and the desert. That would be on Wednesday and Thursday. And also for the desert as we hit Thursday. A chance for showers. Yeah. So it'd be nice. And then some cooler like, temperatures as I well. I like the sound of all of it. A little sprinkle? It's fall. A little yeah, yeah, exactly. Like fall, a little right? sprinkle. That, nothing too crazy. Yeah. Let's not get too crazy about it. We'll take Isolated. it. Isolated. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Carlene. You're welcome.